popular, he was last heard of in the Philippines. But his group is flourishing, with 10,000 members around the world. Their British base is a country house in Leicestershire. The group refused permission to film at any of their centres, but their spokesperson, Solomon, did agree to be interviewed. The family is a group of individuals who've been touched by Jesus Christ, and you can summarize the work of the family in the commandment that the Lord gave to all his disciples, and that is, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Uh, we try to do that by sample, by word, um, in any way that we possibly can, according to the countries that we're in, if it's social work, or if it's personal counseling, or if it's through music, in any way possible, literature, whatever, we are commissioned by the Lord to preach his, the good news of his gospel, and that's exactly what the family's doing. You're a missionary organization. Exactly. Solomon was a member of Children of God in Costa Rica and knew the Padilla family well. Do you accept that the Padilla family were devoted members of the Children of God for nearly 20 years? No, the Padilla family were not devoted members of the Children of God for 20 years. Well, on their account, they devoted their lives and they followed to the letter the teachings of their leader, David Berg. Are I you saying that that did not happen? I understand that they say that. I'm telling you that that did not happen. I know that for Well, what were fact, they doing for 20 years? I know that for 20 years they basically lived a life what they wanted to do. I'm not going to judge the Padilla's dedication to the Lord. That's between them and God. But what I can tell you as a witness is that they were not living in the mainstream membership of the family, regardless of what they say. Well, that's completely at odds from what they are telling us. Right. So we have two different versions. Here. Exactly. Why should we believe you? You don't have to believe me. You, you don't have to believe me. Uh, that's going to be up to the public to decide, and I'll just have to trust God that people will see the truth and the sincerity. Sylvia Padilla has told us how she had to share following the, the teachings of David Berg. That is, she had to be available sexually to the men of the group. Now, do you accept that sharing went on? Sharing, okay, sharing is a very personal thing. Nobody... Uh, comes in and tells you you have to share with somebody. That's a very individualistic uh, situation. The, the main concept is in sharing uh, that maybe differentiates us from um, maybe uh, other churches is that we believe that if two consenting adults, male and female, uh, wish to have a relationship, that it's up to them. That's a very personal matter. I find it really difficult to believe that Sylvia would be forced by anyone to to spend time with somebody else. That's that's uh, that's absurd. How do you force somebody to do something like that unless they were slaves? Flirty fishing was another means of preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Flirty fishing was never synonymous with sex. Flirty fishing is a sacrificial way of giving your life for somebody else, of giving love to somebody else. The same way that Jesus Christ left the halls of heaven to come down to earth to relate to us, to you and to me and to our viewers. Flirty fishing was a means to be able to reach out to others. It could, be, it could mean uh, going to a bar and sitting and talking to somebody that's having a drink. It could be going to a park and sitting next to a person and telling them about Jesus. It could be getting up and dancing with somebody. Can you explain why the Children of God made explicit and often pornographic videos, some of them involving young children, for the use of the group? The Children of God, the family, never, the family has never produced pornographic videos. The family has never produced pornographic videos. The children of God? The children of God have not produced pornographic videos. Pornography is not allowed in their homes. We don't consider pornography to be 
we, we, we consider that godly sex is good. In other words, God created sex. There's nothing wrong with that. God created it for our pleasure. We don't believe in pornography, and we do not produce pornography. So, videos dedicated to David Berg, involving scenes of masturbation, involving scenes of young children doing striptease routines, they have absolutely nothing to do with children of God or the family. They don't. Why were they dedicated to David Berg? I have no knowledge of any videos that are dedicated to David Berg. I'll tell you, the type of videos that we produce are videos that are dedicated to reach children and to help children or to help people in general. Debbie Padilla has told us that she was sexually abused from the age of nine onwards by a member of the group. Do you accept her story? Whether it happened or not, I don't know I wasn't there. I've heard about it, but I do know that when this supposed abuse took place, it was the Padillas living independently as heads of their own household and not living within a family home. That is their business. So this had nothing to do with the children of God? This has nothing to do with the family. This has nothing to do with the family. Do you accept that verse cog literature at that time did seem to indicate the acceptability of sexual contact with children? Never. Those many letters did not exist? No, what I'm telling you is that within our family homes, within our literature, and within our practice, we do not believe in any crossovers between minors and adults whatsoever. It's an excommunicable offense. I feel bad that the Padilla family feel so bitter about their experience with the family. But I'll have to bring up to you that there are thousands upon thousands of people that have been family members or continue being family members or are uh, friends of the family who are very, very thankful to God and to the family for bringing joy and peace and a purpose in their life. Um, the family is a lot more than what the Padillas are saying. The Padillas are bringing up what their view is of their bitterness.